welcome back to another Ross Golf video. It's gonna be a course vlog, but it's not gonna come out on Sunday, so it's not gonna be a normal course vlog. But it is Christmas Day, and I'm out here with the family. So we're gonna be playing nine holes, walking the course since the course is closed. But yeah, it should be pretty fun. Especially getting to see him hit some balls around during the uh, during the course. So let's see what happens. All right, got about 106 or about 175 yards here. Something hit a seven iron. I'll hopefully, miss the trees. You gonna hit yours? Whoa, alright, pick it up, let's go. Come on, hey, grab your ball. Well, that second shot ended up a little left, but should be findable, be able to get up and down from there. As of yesterday, I do not have any of my P790s in the bag. I uh, went and got like a partial fitting to figure out which shaft to go best with them. Sending them in to Taylor made to get fixed, but Right now, I have my TaylorMade M4s in the bag. So, they pretty much fly about the same. So it's not too much of a change. But, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of adjusting. Also, I do not have a pitching wedge. So, I'm gonna try to avoid pitching wedge distances for a while. But let's see if we can't get eyes on my ball and uh, see if we can't get it up and down. All right, ended up not being able to locate my ball. So I'm just gonna drop one out here. See if I can't get it up and down for bogey. Or I'm just gonna hit it fat and short, so. Gonna have a chip up. That one kinda checked up a little bit, but I'm gonna have a putt for double bogey. See if I can't make this one. Well, that's gonna be a triple bogey start. Not what you like to see, but hey, I'm out here with the family, enjoying time together. So, it is what it is. On to the second hole. It's a 200 and something yard par three. So, let's see if we can't tee one up and get one on the green. Good job, buddy. All right, you ready? Well, as you saw from that tee shot, ended up a little left. It's kind of where I end up on this hole, but did clear the water plenty, so I'll have a nice little chip up and see if we can't get a par or bogey at worst. Found my ball over here on the left side, like usual, but gonna have a nice little chip up. A lot of green to work with. Didn't hit it great, but that's gonna work out perfectly fine. Have a nice little, uh, about 10 to 12 footer uphill for par. Good roll, decent line, just uh, I mean, I didn't play the I didn't play the right line, but I putted it well and had the right pace on it. But that's gonna be a bogey. Not too bad. So we're gonna take a family water break and then we're gonna be moving on to the third hole, par five, dog leg left. Alright, found my ball up here. Only about 170 yards, but uh not the best positioning. So I'm gonna try to just kind of. I think I'm gonna just slap a four iron and hope it gets under that cedar limb. Hey, I see it. Well, that almost went as planned, but caught the tree limb, broke the tree limb, and uh, landed right there. 
So, gonna be going out the green from here. Gonna range it out, see how far I got. All right, gonna be trying to hit this ball about 155 yards. I'm gonna hit a nice little eight iron. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted at all. Well, I was trying to hit a cut with the, the slope the way it was too, which was kind of a cut slope. And uh, just kind of hit it off the toe, fled it off, hit this tree. But it should have a nice little wet shot in, see if we can't get up and down for par. Maybe another bogey, but it's not as bad as triples. <laughs> so let's see, if we, let's see what we can do with it. All right, got about 80 yards left here. So let's try to hit a nice little chippy. Just a little right of where I wanted it, but should be able to chip that one up, get it in there close, make a putt, get home with a bogey. Oh, and I just did exactly what I wanted to not do. But gonna have a putt at bogey, so if I can't keep this one in tight, it's not an easy two putt out there. Watch out. No, don't grab it, don't grab it, what? Wesley. Well, that's going to be a double bogey. But it is what it is. So, onto the fourth hole, par four. A little bit of a dogleg left with a tight tee shot, so that's what we can do. Well, that one's going to be a little right. But it should have a good line at the green from there. And, uh, hopefully, I can make a par on Christmas. Be my uh, gift to myself. But we'll see when we get up there. Wesley and Ashley just chilling on the bench, waiting on Daddy to get back from the tee box. On oh, my ball over here, way right. About 155 yards. Going to take a nice eight iron at this. Oh, that's so far left. What are you doing, Ross? Well, that one ended up left of left. But it had a pretty good distance on it. Just uh, didn't hit it the right direction. But we're going to go track down this ball and see if we can't finally hit the green. Alrighty, located my ball way over here on the left side. Under a tree. So, give me a nice little chip shot up. Like a bunker shot. Hit it like a greenside bunker shot. So we're gonna be chipping again. See if we can't get this one up there this time. Not the best spot, but it is gonna be budding. So, so if we can't put a good roll on one, maybe make a nice putt for. Uh, Bogey? Yeah, I think I'm putting for bogey. Give it a chance to get there. Had a little bit more break than I had than I thought, or I pulled it a little. That's a comebacker for a double. That's another comebacker made for double bogey. Not for sure what that puts me at, I think like seven or eight over but hey we're out here having fun so on to the fifth hole dog leg left par four well as you saw that was a nice little low stinger not for sure where that came from but ran up there pretty good so it should have about one hopefully about 140 left in this hole but we up there, pop my ball, and uh, see what we're looking at. We got about 145 yards left to the pin. We're taking a nice little nine iron at it. Well, I did exactly what I wanted to do there. 
I uh, hit a cut just like I wanted, but didn't start it far enough to the right. So ended up left to the green. We're gonna have a nice little chip up. Hopefully we can get one. Get a par on the board. I really need a par on the board right now for the morale of myself. Located my ball over here to the left side. That was about as pin high as I possibly could have gotten, but we're trying to get this one up and down. That was about the 17th time I've done that today, but it is what it is. We're out here having fun playing golf on Christmas. How much more can you ask for? But and uh, try to chip this one up and uh, keep it on the green. Or get it to the green. Oh, well, got a little too cute with that one. But we're going to putt this one. Even though it's off the green. Long putt. For bogey. All right, my camera stopped cooperating with me there. Uh, yeah, so triple bogey on the last hole. Not what you like to see, but headed into the six hole par four. Pretty attackable, gonna have a driver in hand. Let's see if we can't put a good one in there. Well, ended up a little left with that one. I saw I hit that tree, the big tree, so it, Hopefully it bounced back far enough away from him where I'm going to have a shot in. But it should be in pretty decent position. Or if it got through it. Get through it would be nice. Yeah, so we're going to go track down my ball. Should have a nice little shot at the green. Nice angle at it. Kind of taking that bunker out of the play. Let's see what we do. Walking up to my ball. I lucked out. Hit this tree. Knocked it kind of forward. So, I'm going to have a nice look at the green from here. Maybe about... 140 yards. We'll see what we take at it. Hit that one really thin. So, on the left side. Should be able to get up and down from there. Located my ball over on the uh, t box. So, I don't know what that guy's doing. I'm going to try to basically putt a 5 iron. So that worked out so much better than I thought it was going. Where did my ball go? I saw it stopping near the pin and now I don't see it. So I think it may have rolled off. That's really going to upset me because of the bunker right there. If it did, then I'm in that bunker. Okay, no. I didn't make it to the... Oh, the bunker's over there. I guess it did roll off. <laughs> I would say the execution on that was about a 9 though. Because that was a not easy shot. Not a shot that I've ever hit. So I'd say I executed that pretty well. But here's my ball. Just on the, uh, the fringe of this green. And uh, this one's going to move a lot left to right once it gets on the green. Or right to left. So let's see what I can do. Not, bad. Not my best chip. But I am putting for bogey, so can't be too mad at it if I can't make one. That is another double bogey. It's a great line, great putt, I just did not hit it. So here's what it is, onto a par three, short one at 155 yards, so let's see if we can't put one in tight. All right, nice little par three here. I'm gonna be taking an eight iron at it. See if I can't hit a little cut with this eight iron. That would be a perfect shot if I aimed further right. Absolutely would have been perfect if I had aimed further right. Hit exactly the shot shape that I wanted. It was good, I'm glad I hit that. But I'm gonna walk down there and uh, try to chip up onto the green. 
probably about 50 yards. So I ended up a little short. I think because it caught the tree. But if I can get the thing in there. It's only about the little, or the 900 little chip wedge shot that I've uh, left short. I just hit that one fat. I kind of, I don't know, anytime it's on sand, I end up hitting it like it's a bunker. Except for when it's in the bunker, then I end up thinning it. Makes sense, right? But, see if I can't get this one up and down. That one rolled out a pretty good ways, but we're gonna have a uh, putt for bogey. So if you can't make one, make a putt. I haven't made one of those in a while. Nice little three putt to finish off that hole. Everybody loves three putts. But onto the last par four, second to last hole of this course vlog. It's gonna be a uh, little bit of a dog leg right, par four. Pretty open, so I'm gonna take the driver, tee it up. See if I can't put a good one down there. Oh, I lost that ball. Oh, pulled so hard. Well. I tried to hit a preliminary ball and it hit the tree, so hopefully I can find my first one. I did not see it off the club face, so it didn't sound great. It should have been alright. We'll see if we can't locate it. Alrighty, I could not locate my first ball. The second ball I found way back in those trees, but in order to kind of speed things up and get off the course, because somebody fell asleep, I'm gonna just drop one out here, about 165 yards. Kind of a uh, kind of toe shanked that one. The only thing I can figure is how it went that way when I'm trying to hit a draw. But I'm gonna have about 80 yards left to the green from there, which is not fantastic. But it could be worse. So I'm gonna go up there, hit this one, and then uh, move on to the final hole, the par last par five, and then we're gonna be headed home. After changing my battery pack and hitting her, hitting a very poor wet shot, then the Changing my battery pack, like this. That one's gonna be all right. It's uh, it rolled off the green, so. But it is what it is. So let's see if I can hit a nice little chip shot close, put it out, get onto this last hole. Not a bad little chip shot, I'll take that. Especially the way I've been hitting it lately. But got about three foot. Those are the ones that are more frustrating than a bad wet shot. I don't know, both of them are really frustrating. But it is what it is. Can't change the past. So, on to the last hole. I made it this far. Please hit that subscribe button. Like the video. But, uh, let me tee up the driver again. Hopefully I can keep one in play. As I'm walking up to the tee box here, uh, thought hit me. I normally play this shot as a three shot hole anyway, just because it's so long. I mean, it says it's 580, but I think it plays a lot longer than that. But, so it's like a good three shot hole. So why take driver off the tee and risk losing my ball? So uh, I'm gonna tee it up with the two iron. And uh, hopefully I can make it actually past the women's tees. But yeah, like, might as well. Hit two iron, two iron, six iron wedge, and be on the green. What we're gonna do. Yeah. 
Well, after that tee shot, uh, I'm calling it quits on this. But if you liked the video, like the video, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one.